So to get started, we're going to go over the camshaft load. So you got the nose right here. You have the opening ramp as the camshaft rotates. That is what's going to start pushing either the lifter or rocker arm or the valve directly, whichever, depending on the design. And on the other side, you have the closing ramp because same scenario, right? As it turns and it comes back down. You have the center line right there. Self-explanatory is right at the center. Over here, we have duration of 50 thousandths of an inch. I'll explain what that is in a second. Then you have the base circle, right? It's just the circle of the camshaft load. And now we're going to go over what this all means. And you have a camshaft lift right there from the circle to the nose. That's your lift. So we're going to go over that first. Camshaft lift. What does that mean? That is how much the load is going to push either the lifter, rock around, valve open as it rotates. That is the lift from here to here. Now, when it comes to camshaft lift, there's something really important to consider. For engines that have rocker arms, the final ratio is going to be multiplied by whatever rocker arms you're using. And because of that, the overall lift on an engine that uses rocker arms is not going to be the same as the lift of the camshaft itself. I'll explain that in a little bit more detail, okay? But before that, let's go over camshaft profile. Camshaft profile, that is the actual shape of the nose, right there. Then you have duration. Duration is the length of time that the valve is going to be held off the valve seat, meaning it's open. So this whole thing is a duration. Now with that in mind, there are two types of duration that are commonly used, okay? You got the advertised duration, which is the entire time. Something more useful is going to be duration at 50 thousandths of an inch. The reason why that is more useful is because that way when you're dealing with camshafts with different profiles, you know, with a more aggressive nose or less, you're going to know how long, how many degrees of rotation the valve is going to stay open at 50 thousandths of an inch. And companies that make the camshafts, they're always making different configurations of advertised duration and duration of 50 thousandths of an inch, and they're all going to vary depending on what they want to accomplish. And last but not least, gross lift. Engines that have rocker arms, the overall lift is going to be multiplied by the rocker arm ratio. So for example, let's say that we have an engine with 319 thousandths of an inch, okay, of camshaft lift. And if we multiply that, let's say by 1.5, which is very common, 1.5 rocker arm ratio. So what we're going to have is 479 thousandths of an inch of overall lift, gross lift at that point. So when you open a camshaft catalog and they're describing a camshaft that is used on engines that have rocker arms like the older General Motors and Fords and Chryslers, they are going to give you those numbers. They're going to tell you that the camshaft itself is going to have certain lift and they're going to tell you that if you have a 1.5, a 1.6 rocker arm ratio, they're going to tell you what your final lift is. Very, very important to look at those numbers because you could even add more lift to your existing engine without replacing the camshaft, just going with a different rocker arm. Instead of going to the 1.5, go to the 1.6, and that will give you more lift. The duration will remain the same, but you will have more lift, so give you a little bit more torque. But a manufacturer of a camshaft is already going to have certain guidelines. It's going to give you a suggestion of what's best to use with the camshaft that they're selling you. Right now, this video is more about understanding the design of the camshaft load. And for the next video, we're going to go into more detail like overlap and how to choose the correct camshaft depending on its profile. And you'll be able to understand it better because now you know how the camshaft load is designed and how the shape of the load affects the personality of the